this computer. Perfect. Green tea and tea. Awesome. Great. So you, you have to know people and you have to let people know exactly what you like and don't like. That's a great level of connection. So what I'm going to do now is share my screen and we're going to have a great call. Pa, 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 pa. Alrighty. Present. Great. Awesome. Somebody joined in. Whoever joined, can you just mute yourself so that I don't have to block you from the call? Uh, Mandeep, can you mute yourself? I just did. Okay, perfect. Uh, just mute yourself so everybody can see the screen. Okay. So let me just see. Can you guys see my screen? I just want to understand. Okay, Srinivas shows the thumb. Awesome. Um, let me just also turn on the chat for me and, and do this. Okay, first impression formula. So we, in the next few minutes, we're going to be talking about exactly how to knock the ball out of the park with first impression and how to make a powerful first impression every single time. But before we go that, go, go toward it, you know, the important thing to know is what is actually, what do we mean by first impression? Is that how you go to a party or is that, you know, what is that first impression? In fact, I'm going to give you an opportunity to engage with me here in this webinar uh, to, so we can have a conversation about exactly how to make it happen. So for that, what we can do now is, uh, you know, let's go with, uh, let's go and let me ask you, what do you think, you know, why is first impression, uh, making a powerful first impression important? Why is this important? I would love to know from you, put down your chat, you know, thought in the chat box, so I know why you feel it's important uh, for, for people to know about this. So. Let's go. Why is it important for people? Type in the chat box. Hmm. And talk about specific, specifically for you. Why is it important for you to learn about it? I can see a lot of chats. Okay, let me go to chats. First impression is best impression. Saying is the last expression as well to connect with the audience. Vasanta, absolutely. Satish says to make the person interested in my conversation. Very, very important. What else? Why is first impression important to you for your specific situation? Always trying to confirm it in a later meeting. Absolutely. Ajay Anand from, from Delhi. Deepan, I can see John on the call. John, which country are you joining from? Just type down your country uh, in case you're outside India. Um, to engage people from the start, the first impression stands, stands first forever. Absolutely. Without first impression, I cannot correct or connect them. First impression helps me selling myself as well. That's important, right? Mazana says to control, to take control of the session because second impression can't be first impression at all. That's, that's right. That absolutely is right. In fact, think about it. Have you ever met somebody in the moment? You, you meet them now and you don't know what, but there is something amazing about this person. And maybe there was some other time uh, where you met somebody else outside and you didn't like them and you didn't know why. And the difference was how they improved, how they made that first impression. Because second impression can't be, okay, first impression helps to connect as well. Uh, somebody says first impression is the ultimate connector while presenting. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, one of my favorite authors is a guy called Gary Halbert one of the most persuasive writers in the world who ever lived. Um, and he said that when you go in the, in the courtroom, most times judges make, an, make their decision in the first 30, to sec 30 seconds to one minute uh, of meeting you. Um, now, they are, he's still looking for evidence to prove that point, right? But he knows that. When you go for an interview, the, the person who's taking the interview, it's a boss or it's a senior manager, they make a decision whether that next level promotion is for you or not within the first 30 seconds. And I say, I make an argument that it's no more 30 to 60 seconds. In today's world, it's less than that. It's 7 to 15 seconds right now. Mahesh says people start judging you from first impression. Vasanda says it gives confidence. <clears throat> Vema, how are your kids doing, by the way? Vema says uh, to make an image about us, to connect to proceed further. Absolutely. These are all important points. And I'll tell you the main reasons right now, and then we go into this. One of the biggest benefits, and I hope you're taking notes. If you're not, I mean, come on, it's going to be so amazing for you to look at these notes. 
in 2025, like 2025. And you'll see, you know, that webinar I attended seven years ago. And then I went to Bishal Sarkar for training to, to get help from him directly. I met him in, at one of his events. It changed my life. So today is the day that we start this relationship. So benefit number one is authority. Authority. Think about it. Anytime you make a powerful first impression, it gives you an instant authority. People now see you not just as an IT professional, not just as a banker, not just as a CA, not just as a finance professional, not just as a manager. They see you as an authority. And you know something? We do not argue with authorities. We argue with professionals, mm. but you don't argue with authorities. I mean, imagine this, you go to a dentist, he's an authority in your mind. He says we need to do RCT, root canal treatment. You don't say, well, uh, that's fine, but uh, you know, can you give me three reasons and five ways I can do this on my, no, you don't. You don't argue with authorities. So making a powerful first impression makes you an authority. I'll give you a quick example. Just a few days ago, uh, I was at a, I was at a you know, nearby yoga center. Uh, to inquire about yoga and it was not for me. It was for my girlfriend and We went there and the guy <laughs> He was short height and not very great health and he was talking, you know, not very confidently um, I thought he's a receptionist. I said and he showed me around the, the, the yoga portion He also showed me in the muscle training section and in the end I said, okay, great. Who, who's the yoga teacher here? And he said, well, it's me <laughs> You he said, yeah, it's me. I'm the supervisor of the training. There are some people who help me, but I'm the thing. And I, <laughs> it's funny. In that moment, I looked at him from head to toe, not to, <laughs> not to make fun of him, but I was shocked. Oh, you teach yoga, but your personality is so down. And it's not about the height, but your personality is down. You, don't, you talk so clumsy way. You're not confident. Your, your health is not great. See, he's not an authority. And at that moment, in that moment, it didn't matter about how much he knew, right? What mattered is I no more saw him as an authority. My friend, people are judging you just like this all the time. So if you're not making a confident first impression, figuratively speaking, they're going to look at you from head to toe and say, oh, you are going to teach us this. You are going to lead us <clears throat> in this new project. You are the new CEO. Then probably they'll not say you verbally, but that's how they, they feel energetically. Authority. Second is you get power, right? Power. What is power? By power, I don't mean in a macho manner. It means your ability to take action and help other people take an action. You get power because when you are the, when you are the, when you get the visibility with the first impression, it gives you the sense of of helping people what is the best action for them, right? That's why when you go to a, let's say a principal of a school uh, and he makes a very first, powerful first impression and he says, here is the curriculum we're gonna follow. You don't argue. You don't say, well, can you add this one subject? Can you take away? You don't. Why? He has visibility with the right amount of first impression. Third is credibility. That's huge. Some of you uh, go to client. In fact, let me ask you, type uh, the letter C in case you give any presentation to clients. Maybe you go to clients place, give presentation or clients come to you, maybe on video conference, face to face. In the past, ever if you have given a client presentation, not just in your team, but outside to a client, just type the letter C in the chat box. Srinivas, okay. So you do client presentations. Who else gives client presentations here? Any kind. Deepak. Okay. Vema. <clears throat> Srinivas was doing earlier. Okay, perfect. Great. So you want to build that credibility in the first initial few seconds so that you're not seen as a vendor. You're seen as an expert. Basanta says, see in future. Absolutely. So, and the, the, another thing that you get is less resistance because now people don't resist you listening to you. And, and guess what? If people don't resist listening to you, they're going to give you the next level opportunity, right? Think about this for a second. <clears throat> don't just listen to me just to listen. Think about how it applies to you. This is not an information based training today. I'm here to make a transformation in your life and I'm goddamn serious right now. 
the, the less resistance you have between you and the person who's listening to you, the more they will give you the next level opportunity, whether they are the senior manager, giving you the promotion, giving you the salary hike. And I'm going to show you some practical examples of how you can you know, increase your salary up to 40%, 60% um, in your current job without chasing, without begging. Would that be a value? Would that be of value to you? Type in the type the word value if if you'd like to show like me to show you exactly how some some people are doing it. Type the word value in the chat box. Great, <clears throat> awesome, 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 awesome. And the final one is influence. Uh, you get to you know be an influencer in your company. Awesome, I got the answers, guys. Thank you. The next one is. This is a, a real practical example, Nirav Gandhi. Uh, he came to one of my trainings about uh, two years ago. He had tremendous stage fear. He did not know how to connect with an audience. And he always found that his communication was not very, very great. And recently he, uh, he has done some projects with Google, the company Google. And um, I, you know, he came to me and he was really struggling a lot with his public speaking and presentation. I showed him some formula. Now he is traveling internationally. And, and, and making this thing happen. And I don't want you to look at this example just as an example. I want you to look at this example thinking this is possible for you. So this is like um, our signature event that we call the Confident Man Live Experience. Um, and it's awesome. What we do is we go through everything, not just, I'm gonna show you some amazing tips today um, and, and, and it's gonna be so deep, but there is so much you know, there is only so much we can do in, in a matter of 45, 60, 75, 90 minutes. So we go much more deep in the Confident Expert Live Experience. And I'll tell you right now, this probably is not for you. This training does not suit everybody. Not everybody is ready for this level of transformation. Most men are not ready for this level of advanced training. They should go to basic public speaking courses outside. This is not for everyone. So um, this probably is not for you. But the people, if you see, if you see the smile on their faces, it's not just a smile on the face. It's a smile from confidence. And the reason they are able to do this is because of total confidence. I don't know how this uh, 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 pointer. Okay. I don't know. Okay. So we are taught not to speak freely with a natural flow in life. You know why? Because we are taught to hide as a child. And I'll share with you some practical examples because there are five ways. And here is, here is that note taking part, five ways to make a first impression. That powerful first impression. The one is something that I called that I call confidence. You must improve your confidence to make that first impression. Okay. Number two is your body language. Write this down. Take notes. Confidence, number two, body language. What is happening? Somebody's typing C and B like on the screen. If I find out who, it's not going to be a very first impression about you, to, to be honest. <laughs> Good that you deleted. You should. Third is dressing. So confidence, body language, dressing. Write this down, dressing. Fourth is your words, <clears throat> the words you choose. And I'm, sure you, I'm going to show you exactly how to choose the right words at the right time. And then there's the fifth one, which is your connection power. Okay, your connection power. So confidence, body language, addressing your words and connection power. Let me just find out who's doing that uh, word thing here on the screen. And let me remove them for a minute. Oh, there are two people doing it. Let me remove one. You know, there are always some people who have very less to do in life, not very happy with the wife, kids don't respect them, so they come to webinar to distract other people. I respect them, uh, not much, but yeah, I mean, I have empathy for them, you know, they need love and respect more than anybody else because these are the people who probably have failed in everything in life, that's why they come in the webinar to distract other people. Um, if you know who you are, um, you know who you are, love you, but shame on you. Confidence, body language, dressing, your words, connection power. Let's go one by one because if you know my story, I did not come from a great background with confidence and making a first impression. In fact, this is me. 
the left one, the, the person who's pointing the finger. And that's my little brother um, when we were a child. And, you know, I grew up in a small town called Shiliguri. So growing up, I studied in a Bengali medium government school. I was born and brought up in a middle class family and my parents paid 218 rupees per year for my school tuition. So growing up, I did not have much. I did not have much confidence. And I still remember this particular event where I once went to one of my uncle's houses and what happened there was I had my cousin brother who was probably 15 years uh, elder than me, right? And I remember there was a moment when I was standing on a chair and I was like this little kid, right? I was standing on the chair. I was 12 year old and my cousin brother, I think at that time he was like 27, 28. You know, he told me to do something and I said, no, I'll not do it. And I remember my cousin brother came to me and he slapped me so hard on my face that from the table, I fell on the floor. And I was embarrassed. I was, I was ashamed. I was like, what happened? And I looked around and all the people were there. My, my parents, his parents, but nobody did anything to him. Nobody protested. And the message I got that day is that probably I should not do much. I probably should not protest much because that is the message I got that day. And that was the programming with me for years. In fact, this is the confidence secret number one. If you remember just a few minutes ago, we were talking the, the first pillar is the confidence. Oh, there is another person right now writing on the screen. <laughs> it's, it's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I know. I know your family life, man. Confidence the secret number one. Stop seeking approval. Stop seeking approval. What do I mean by approval? You see, we have grown up in this world in such a manner. And let me shut down the screen for a second and, and just talk to you. All right. <clears throat> we grow up in such a manner that... From the childhood days, we are taught, most often, uh, we are taught to look for approval from other people. Please like me. Please tell me I'm right in the examination. Please respect me. In fact, it's funny that sometimes a lot of people teach you that during interviews say that my favorite, my, my biggest weakness is perfection. I need to get things done in a perfect manner. That It's bullshit, man. Everybody's teaching the right thing to do instead of you owning your own confidence. So we look for that approval all the time from other people in a small manner, it's in small, small ways. I know a lot of people who are always looking for that approval. Like I have to do certain things so my kids respect me. It's like all connected. I need to do something so my boss recognizes me instead of doing the right thing. And when you, Avinash started sharing the screen. Wow, interesting. Um, let me just remove him guys. What can you see on the screen? By the way, I, some people are like crazy. Let me remove Avinash completely. <laughs> Avinash. Oh, he left. No. It, it, what's, what's on the screen? Whoever said no, just uh, can you see like a blank screen? No, it is white. It is uh, just a white screen. Okay, whose screen is that? No, thank you for thank you for letting Black me. Screen. Black screen. Okay. Black. Yes. Black screen. No, uh, that's fine. I'll, I'll I'll get it going. And as as we speak, so the first one is you know always looking for that approval. In fact, let me ask you as I remove this person, have you ever been in a situation where you, <clears throat> to be honest, I know I have been that man because I've done that many times in my life, but in your past or in your present, have you ever? looked actively for approval from other people to be you. If it's you, say, I admit because I'm a human being. Just type in the chat box, I admit because I'm a human being. If you have ever looked for approval from other people to, to this, Ajay says yes. Okay. Who else? Awesome. I appreciate that. 
because of hierarchy, Shiva Prasad says, okay, everyone needs an approval. She said, I don't know about everybody. I'm talking about you. See, this is the problem we have. Sometimes we justify our own prop, our own wrong thing by saying everybody needs it. Why do you look at women, other women, husband? Well, everybody looks it. No, I'm talking about you. See, talk about you, not about everybody. Um, awesome. Awesome. This is the thing. This is the thing. So you, you must do that in order to create powerful, um, you know, a powerful communication tool. I mean, if you don't overcome this, this is always going to be a problem. So the first point always is to overcome that approval. Second um, is stop trying to prove yourself all the time. See, we are taught you must prove your value. Otherwise, people will not respect you. When was the last time a doctor started proving his value to you? Like you go to a doctor, doctor, this is my pain. And the doctor says, you know what? I'm not going to treat you. I know you have a pain in your stomach. I know you have a pain in your leg, but let me prove my value to you. Let me prove my, let me show you my certification. Let me tell you, I'm a leading authority for the last 25 years. Let, nay, we are not done. Wait, wait. Hey, wait. You're not done with my proving my authority. I have to prove you more. Look at my this. Look, they do that? No. Because people who have power demonstrate, they don't try to prove. Write this down. People who have power and confidence, they demonstrate versus trying to prove. And the third point is you start, I want you to start owning your power and speak from that power. Own your power. Understand that you have some lacks. You have a few things that are not right about you. And if I go back to your life, I can find where it is. And I'll share a quick example right now. It's about a guy called Prakash. Vema knows about Prakash. Vema, if you remember Prakash, just uh, if you're on the, on the call uh, still. Do you remember Prakash, the person who came to the training with you? Let me know in the chat box. So when I, when I first met Prakash, he said, I have stage fear. I don't know how to connect with an audience. I'm looking for this, that. I'm, I'm you know, not getting that next level promotion because I have two children. I want to take better care of my family. I want to do this. I want to do that. And I said, great, um, you know, I invited him to the training because my training is not for everybody. It's very expensive for most people, but for the right person, it is the right investment. And I think my programs are not cheap because I, I don't think that you are cheap. I think you are valuable. So am I, so is my training. That's why it's the right match. So people who are looking for cheap things, they go for cheap things. And I respect that, but I don't take people into my programs in a cheap manner because I don't think people are cheap. I think people are valuable. I think they need to invest in themselves in a powerful manner to respect themselves. I said, Prakash, I'm happy to accept you in the program. How are you going to take care of this? We took care of the enrollment and stuff. He came to the training. He started making great progress. And I remember at the end of day one, um, he came to, came to me, not before the end of the day one. He was wearing a red shirt. Uh, he's, a pro he's a product manager in one of the IT companies in Bangalore. He came to me and he said, Vishal, can I speak to you for a minute? I said, sure. He said, Vishal, I want to, today in your training uh, here in Bangalore, I understood something about me. I said, tell me. He said, Vishal, my reason for stage fear is because when my mother died, I was nine year old and I did not even cry because I did not feel what death is. And he said, Vishal, when I grew up, when I became 12, 13, 14, then I started understanding what is death. And then I started feeling guilty about not crying when my mom died. And Vishal, today, I'm 38 year old. And I still hold that grudge against myself that I did not cry when my mom died. And I miss my mom and she's valuable to me. But I feel that because I did not understand her death, I feel I disrespected her. Today I have two kids. I have a family. I'm a happy person. But Pishal, I still hold the grudge against myself in my chest and I want to cry but Bishal it's been so many years that I don't even know how to cry there is this one person in this webinar and I don't know who you are but it's been so many years you have cried so many years back you don't even know it how to cry anymore so when there is a tough time for you instead of letting it out, you suck it up. You take a shower and it's still bothering you. It's inside your mind, but you think 
I have kids, I have family, I have other people to take care of, I have friends, people will think I'm, I'm, I'm immature. I have to act like a man. I have, to, I have to act like a strong woman. But deep inside, every night you go to bed, you have that worry in your mind. The worry of financial insecurity about your family's future. Probably you are doing better than you were doing five years ago, but you know there is so much more that you deserve right now that you're not even getting at. You can see other people less with less experience than you who are making greater progress than you. And you want to clap for them, but deep inside, to be honest, you are a little jealous of them in a good way. Like, why can't I be that person? You do majority of the work and somebody else gets the credit. Many times. Why? Because you're not owning that confidence. So number one, stop seeking approval. Stop trying to prove yourself. Start owning your power. Second is your body language. It's very, very important. I want you to write this statement down, okay? Body language is more powerful than spoken language. Body language is more powerful than spoken language. By the way, did you know that um, 93 to 90, 90 to 93% of communication is just body language? Somebody again is making funny things on the screen. It's good. I like it. Keep doing it, man. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Don't design your life, design my, design my slides. It's, it's amazing. So um, 90 to 93% of communication is just body language, okay? So now I'm gonna give you some practical tools on how to do it. So write this uh, formula down, soften, S-O-F-T-E-N, S-O-F-T-E-N. And we're gonna go through this right now one by one. The S stands for smile. You always wanna have a smile. No. It's funny. Somebody's talking to me. Let me remove who that is. So S stands for smile. Um, and by smile, I mean you want to have a gentle smile on your face, not all the time, but to make a deep level connection with uh, people. You always want to do that. Um, number one. Number two, <clears throat> um, the O. O stands for, write this down, open gesture. Open gesture. By the way, let me ask you a question. What do you think is open gesture? Type in the chat box. What is open gesture? What does open gesture mean to you? Open gesture. Do you know the meaning of that? Type in the comment box. Keep arms open, says Srinivas. Okay, that's, that's natural posture, being receptive. What else? So a lot of times not hiding anything, free smile and natural style. Yeah, I mean, a lot of times people think open gesture is just using hands and they don't know what to do. They don't know what to do here. They don't know what to do there. Um, so I'll give a quick example. What you do here, for example, um, let's say you're giving a presentation. Many times people start stand like this, right? Today in my presentation, I want to talk this, talk this. So this is one. Second is they put the, put the hands inside their pocket. Okay. They put the hands inside their pocket and they don't know what to do with the hands. So what you want to do is you want to have your hand in a natural manner here, somewhere like a, in a 90 degree, 90 degree manner, and then use your hands right and left in order to do this. Yes, you are right. Sorry to interrupt, I cannot see you, uh, please. Uh, anybody else cannot see me? Or was it just Srinivas? Can you see me now, Srinivas? Because I'm on the screen. I can see you. Okay. Yeah, people can see. Cool. Um, so you want to have body language and you want to use your hands in the right manner. And most often the mistake we do is if you're a right-handed, you tend to use your right hand more. If you're a left-handed, you tend to use your left hand more. Um, you want to have a synchronization. So that's uh, a little bit about open, open gesture. That's just basic. There is much more advanced. We don't have time to talk about it because I can see it's already 840. So the next level, the F stands for um, front. You want to always start from the front. Majority of the mistake many people make is they start from a corner of a presentation and make the PPT the big deal. Like, like this is my PPT or this is my flip chart. This is everything. Look at here. Understand that you are the presentation, not the PPT. You are the prize, not the PPT. Write this down. I am the presentation, not the PPT. 
Okay. You can hear a lot of background noise. Who's that from? Mandeep, let me remove. Sorry guys, whoever disturbs, I have to respectfully remove them because um, I can't go back and forth telling people to mute if you don't, you know, if some people don't have the basic sense to do this. Um, so I am apologetically to serve you in a best manner. I have to remove them without even asking them. So front, okay. So we spoke about smile, open gesture. Front, the T stands for, write this down, territory. Territory. So if you use one part of the room, one part of the presentation, you also want to use the second part. And if you're using one-on-one uh, -on -one communication, some people say, can't see me. Guys, can you see me? Just if you can see me, just say yes in the chat box. So I know you can see me. If you can see me type yes in the chat. Oh yeah, people can see. Cool. So if you can't see just, you know, leave the meeting room and come back join again i think it will solve your problem i appreciate asking so the t for territory and uh, you go to one part of the presentation another let's say if you're talking to somebody one on one let's say <clears throat> let's say i'm speaking to this mic this is my mic if i'm speaking to this person one on one i'm going to use both hands and not just look at them but i'm also going to move a little toward my right sometimes move a little toward my left sometimes why it will engage people it will engage people because people's attention span today is very, very less. The E stands for eye connection. And a lot of people call it eye contact. There is a difference between a contact and a connection and I'll prove that point to you right now. But before that, I need to know, are you ready? Type the word ready in the chat box. If you're ready to understand the difference between a contact and a connection, it will really change everything. Yes. Perfect. Here's a contact. Think about how many friends you have, friend contacts you have on your Facebook profile. 500, 200, 2000, I think I have more than three, 4000 on, on Facebook, just my friend list. How many people do you have on your Facebook or LinkedIn as a contact? Type it down, the number, approximately. Approximately, type down the number. 600. Anil, can you yeah, yeah. mute yeah. yourself? 600, 400, 1000 plus, 200, 3000, 100. Yeah, great. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Now, here's the best, better question. How many of them are you really connected with on a daily and regular basis that you have personal connection with? What's the number now? 20. <clears throat> 350. 6. 10. Very few, absolutely. See, this is exactly the situation. The, the, that's the difference between a contact and a connection, which is a contact is just knowing something, a connection is implementing it. That's in, in, in physics, um, a subject I never liked as a child, but if you study communication, what it means is eye contact is just looking at people just to make say, oh, I got to make, I got to look left. I got to look right. I, you know, someone, my manager told me I got to look at everybody. Um, that's not eye contact. I know that, that's not eye connection. That's just eye contact. Meaning you don't care. You're just using it as a tactic and eye connection, write this word down, scan and stop technique, scan and stop. And we'll talk more about it in the, in the next training, but you scan the room a bit and then you stop at one point and look at one person for a few seconds. Then you scan again. In the presentation, look at somebody else. That's called a scan and stop technique for eye connection. And the final, the N stands for, write this down, nodding, nodding. That's one of the most underutilized tools in body language that most people don't know about in their presentation. So nodding, that's hugely important to make a powerful first <clears throat> impression. So we spoke about the soft end technique completely. S-O-F-T-E-N, okay? The next one after that is something that I call dressing. By the way, guys, let me just check in for a second. Let me exit this. Stop sharing. Is this helpful to you so far? Because I want to check in. If it's not helpful, I'll respectfully end the webinar right now. And I hope no regret. And I'm saying it just out of love. Because if it's not helpful, why waste time? Is it helpful to you? Cool. Ajit, Satish, Deepak. Awesome. 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 Mustafa. Great. Awesome. Let's go on then. Let's go on for a few more minutes and, and teach you. <clears throat> Um, 
Okay, dressing. You know, I call it the personality transplant method, and this quote really cracks people up. People up, people laugh at it. Dress like you are a boss, not like you are jobless. Oh. Anytime you go anywhere, you never know who's seeing you. So you always want to dress like a pro. If you're going for a meeting in a powerful manner, don't just wear basic good shirt. Wear the best shirt that you have. I'm not asking you to buy like a 50,000 rupees shirt. You, you're more than welcome to, and I think it will make, make you look even better than you are. But wherever, whatever you have the best, wear the best clothes whenever you have to make a first impression. When it, you're going for a meeting, you know, going for a webinar. Like I talked about this guy right at the beginning. I called him out because I can. He's lying down on the bed attending a video conference. What is the what is what kind of uh, impression do you think he's making? The impression that he has in my eyes is you are a, just a casual guy who's probably very very lonely and uh, yeah, time passed. Like you know, I just came to see Vishal Charka. Like, dude, I'm not somebody worth seeing. Go see a girl. No, just so you want to have a great first impression. You want to dress like a pro. And what I say all the time is write this down. Dress half step ahead of the average people. Who, by average, I don't mean mediocre. Uh, dress half step ahead of the general average dressing of the people in the room. So if the people in the room are wearing just, you know, uh, normal formals, uh, wear a little something extra, maybe a nice watch, maybe a good tire, maybe a good pocket square. Um, see, I, I wear a pocket square here. If you see on the screen, I'm going to point. See, this is called a pocket square. This one on the pocket. This makes you look really important because you are. And see, other people in the room are not wearing blazer at that time, right? They're just wearing the shirt. So I wear half step ahead. Um, if people in the, in the room is, are just wearing casuals like jeans and t-shirts, uh, wear half step ahead. Maybe you can wear a semi-casual. You see, half step ahead, not too much. If they are coming in shorts, and you're wearing like a huge big jacket and that's too much of a big difference you know you don't want that you want to connect so half step ahead that's dressing so these are real practical example of some people who have great results uh, this person is called alok if you read it i'm going to read it for you because the font is very small we have a private group inside uh, uh, you know in, in one of my phones not everybody gets access to it um, and this is only for the people who become a part of the program where people can directly Tell me on my phone exactly the kind of progresses that they are making. So I'm going to read out. I just asked him what are the progresses you're making. Alok says, by the way, Alok, when he first came to me, he had tremendous amount of stage fear and nervousness and he was losing out on his career. He says, now I do the right thing and I communicate it in the right way to stakeholders. I'm able to do it because I'm more confident. I'm able to do impromptu presentations in things as big as site wide um, while hands, etc. It never happened earlier, but now people come to me. Listen to this. People come to me after my presentations and tell me what that I did well. Think about you. Think about if people come to you and said you did well in the presentation. Oh my God, how can I give you a promotion? Oh my God, are you open to being a senior manager in our company? It's going to change everything. Third, he wrote, I'm getting better at distinguishing chalk from the cheese. My resources are spent on things which matter. I have better work life balance. Let me ask you a question. Okay, how many of you want a better work-life balance than you have right now? Type in the word, type the word balance in the chat box. If you want a better work-life balance in your life, type the word perfect. Yeah, Ajit, cool, Srinivas, Vasanta, Sitish, great. So I showed him Ruth and listen to this fourth one. He said, my earnings have increased to a good desired extent in real quick time. Last but not the least, most important. I know that I have long way to go, plenty of learnings to come. And then I asked him a question. Um, you know, this is amazing, Alok. I'm so proud of you and the results you're creating. And honestly, this is just the beginning. And he says, thank you. I said, just curious, percentage wise, how much more earning are you receiving compared to when you first come to the course? Percentage wise, he says what? Approximately 80% more in CTC. Now, I'm going to ask you a question right now. Okay. I want you to think about your salary. No need to write it down here. Not going to embarrass you like that. Think about your number that you have in mind that you, th that you currently earn. It can be as small as whatever, as big as whatever. doesn't matter. No judgment here. I'm not judging you. I'm leading you, but you can't have the transformation without being honest with yourself. Think about the number that you have and, you know, increase it by 80%. So for example, if you're making 10 lakhs a year, just a random example, then your number, new number is 18 lakhs. If you're making five lakhs a year, your new number is nine lakhs. You got the number in your mind, 80% increase. I want you to tell me right now, not the number, but when your 
income increases to 80%, what's going to be different in your life than how your life is right now? Can you type in the chat box? What will you buy or what will you get rid of if you make 80% more salary than, or profit than you make right now? What's going to be different in your life? Type it in the chat box. Again, guys, no need to write the number, but tell me what's going to be different. You will travel more. Okay, get, let's go one by one. Vasanta, travel more. Where, where would you like to travel and how many times a year? Srinivas, bit secured financially backup. Do you have any debt right now that you would like to get rid of, Srinivas? Let me know. Make parents travel and make them happy. Great, great, Mustafa. Where would you like to travel? Where would you like to travel, Mustafa? Other people, just type down. You make 80% more money, what are you going to do? I have to finish my loan. Um, Ajit, how, I don't want to ask you the number of money that you have in loan, but how many years have you been carrying this loan? Six years, two years? Since when you are paying off this interest on the loan? How many years? 20 years or 20, 20 months? 20 years. I, thank you for telling me. I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you, Ajit. Thank you. But this is real, right? Vasinda says six months. I have to finish my loan uh, um, across the globe. Home loan. RG home loan. How many years have you been having, having this home loan for, RG? How many years? Divya says, I'll buy one more, my own car. Divya, what kind of car? Which color? Which color? Let's go with the color first. Which color of car would you like to buy? Sitish says, secure and more fulfilling life. Can you be more specific, Sitish? What, what does that secure and more fulfilling life look like? Srinivas says, no loan. 15 years, RG. This is, see, I'm going to show you now Alok's example and you'll see, you'll like, oh my God, I can do this. Somebody says, my love from family, more love from family. So you're going to, I don't get it. Like, can you be more specific? Because I don't think you're going to go to the family and say, hey, here is more money. Give me more love. That's a different kind of love. Um, but <laughs> Black Verna, awesome. That's great. Um, Divya, see, now you're getting more clarity. Uh, somebody who says uh, secured more. See, this is the thing. Now I want you to think about if you don't, here is my next question right now. Okay. If you, don't, <clears throat> if you don't get to the next level, if you stay, so instead of making the 80% increase, uh, if you stay where you are, um, how do you feel on a regular basis with all the, how do you feel not having that black Verna? What, what do you, how do you feel with all the home loans? If you had to put your feeling in one word or two words max about how it makes you feel not having enough money right now, what is that word or phrase right now? What would you say? Is it, I am feeling worried, stressful, Vasanta. Thank you so much for being so honest. Thank you, Vasanta. What is your word? Type down. Let's be choked. Appreciate your honesty. See, these are, see, that's why I love you guys because you are so much honest with yourself. Spend 100% for survival. Thank you, Srinivas, for being honest. Think about it. What does it feel for you to be here? Stressed, irritated. Gopal says irritated. RG says stressed. Absolutely. What else? And here's my next question. The final question before we, before we teach you more, because look, it's not about me giving more information. It's, it's about knowing your purpose and your why. That's why I'm here. If all I wanted to do is give you more information, I could just record some content and send you. I wanted to talk to you, develop myself to reach my dream. I, life is getting bored and sad. Okay. Bored and sad. Got it. Bored. How many years have you been bored and sad for? I don't, I feel I don't want anything in life. See, See, I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest with you. There was a time in my life I wanted to commit a suicide. I wanted to die. You know why? I feel I had nothing to look forward to. I felt I had nothing to look forward to. I had the money, had all the good things. But when you lose purpose as a man or as a woman, you just, you are like a dead body who's living. Is that a true statement? A dead body who's just living, stagnant. Ajit says life is getting bored. Yeah, awesome, cool, stagnant. And what happens to a pond when the pond becomes <coughs> stagnant? Nobody goes to the pond anymore. The pond starts smelling bad. And instead of fish, just dry leaves come to the pond. Everybody says, don't go to the pond. It's not right. Why? Because we abandon, <clears throat> abandon anything that is not fresh. Would you like 
old food you go to a restaurant hey i want yes life is finished uh, no way out um, i appreciate you sharing that uh, suffocating dry says vasanta so here is my question and type in the chat box as soon as you get an answer from the heart i i want you to answer from the heart this time because nobody is judging you i'm here to serve and lead you in the most powerful manner the words you wrote suffocating stressed irritated alone for 15 years here is my question how much longer how many more days weeks months and years do you want to allow yourself the pain the struggle and the suffering that you have in your current life how much longer do you want to gift yourself this fucking bullshit pain that you are in right now how many more years no more zero days zero no more and when when i hear these words i i love you i respect all of you but i'll tell you this Raj says no more. Siti says not even a second. Vema says no more. Fasinda says no more. I know. I know, man. I know what it feels like to not have enough money. I know what it feels like to feel lonely inside. I know what it feels like to try to commit a suicide. I know what it feels like to have everybody around me but still feel lonely inside because I knew that I was not doing my best. I know what it feels like to eat a bread like a bun. small 3 rupees bun and a tea cup of tea as dinner i know what it feels like i know what it feels like to to stay in a small little rented apartment with five other people inside one room and not have electricity for four days not have any water not have any money i know what it feels like i know how suffocating it gets gets i know how depressing it feels but as men and women we can't show this to other people right why because society teaches us you have to stay strong and act strong and men don't cry and women don't cry act tough you have to be strong in the moment and i was strong but inside i was i was broken man i wanted to break things around me and i had nobody to help me in the beginning until i found a mentor and i was on a webinar just like this one day many years ago and there was this guy and i was listening to him and i knew he was a genius because he knew his stuff he has the results had the results and i i said i want to i want to work with you i want to learn from you i made a decision it was a, a an investment beyond my wildest dreams i could not afford that took a loan did did everything and the reason today there is a reason no no arrogance guys but there is a reason why clients pay up to 95 lakhs rupees for a 3 month one on one coaching relationship with me and these are not big companies these are like one person individual 95 lakhs rupees for a 3 month coaching agreement why it's not i'm not saying this to impress you i don't care i'm 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 saying this to impress upon you that i can go from my parents paying 289 rupees per year for my school tuition to me being the highest paid speaker in india without any arrogance i'm just telling you the fact because numbers don't lie and you can do it today you don't need more information you can look for more blogs you can look for more videos more quote unquote free seminars that you see on facebook where they just try to sell you more programs you can just go for more books and and more videos from this person and that person and art of living and chart of living and part of living you can do all that these these are great people but you getting more information is not going to change your life what you need is a transformation the kind of conversation that we are having right now the kind of conversation where where we are realizing that you can think that i'm i need more confidence but the reality is that you don't need more confidence right now your life is irritated like somebody said right now i i feel there is no way out my life is finished see you can't say that to your wife because your wife will feel weak you can't say that to your husband your husband will feel you are crazy you can't say that to your children because they'll think that mommy daddy have lost in life that's why we need a safe environment a mentor that can provide you with the right feedback let's go now let's go with the with the more tips until we get that so coming back here and see the right section where it says so some people right said 15 years 10 years 20 years i have been spending alone here is the thing 
I said, <clears throat> I'm reading from the thing. I, here it says, uh, in, if you see, read the right side. And I said, and what's the one or two things that income raise has enabled you to do, to do or experience in your life since then? And Alok wrote in the right, um, right section in the bottom, second bottom, he says, I'm sponsoring a kid's education in my extended family. In fact, how many of you would love to sponsor some kids education in your life sometime? Like you want to fund somebody for, for their education. Maybe not right now. You might not have the financial ability, but someday you'd love to help other kids, help other people, get more food, get more education. Type in the chat box. If you'd like to do that, type the, type the word help in the chat box. Type the word help. You're doing already awesome. Help, help. Great. How many, Vasanda, if you're doing it, great. What does like a 10x help look like? If you're helping three kids, what if you could help 30 kids? Would that make you more happy, Vasanta? Vema says help and doing already. Great, Vema, same question. 10 times more. I'm doing it too. 10 times more. Think about this. 10 times more. Um, this is exactly what the thing is. So I'm going to continue the conversation. He says, I have helped a few completely unknown kids for their critical health and conditions through renowned NGO. Listen to these guys. I have spent some quality vacation time in real good places with the family. Last line, I closed my home loan. I closed. That's like... Right. And then I said, closed home loan. Bam. That should be a great relief, isn't it? He said, yes, it is. When I took that loan, it appeared like a huge liability. See, that is the power. You're not here to get more information. You're here to escape the current reality. Like, right, Vasanta? The relief. It's like a <sighs> relief. Sometimes it's a relief from a fear. <sighs> that stage fear is gone. I attended that and now I can confidently speak. Sometimes that relief is, ah, that home loan is gone. Ah, that, that health problem is gone of my family or my health problem, right? This is powerful. That's confidence again, absolutely. So <clears throat> let's go there. Your words. So what are you saying? I have a list of words to use and words to refuse. Um, when we meet next time, I'm going to share with you more because the time is running out. I can say it's already nine time. I'm going to take a few questions toward the end. So when you type your questions and I'm going to answer maybe for five, 10 minutes. Uh, but your words, your choice of words matter a lot. Okay. Your choice of words matter a lot. And the problem that I see is most people say, I don't get the right words at the right time to express yourself, express my thought, especially when I'm speaking in front of a lot of people. Right. Vasanda says, yes. Does that happen to you, by the way, guys? Uh, just type the word yes. If sometimes you feel you're not getting the right words at the right time. Gopal says yes. Vasanta says yes. Deepan, RG. Perfect. See, and I'll tell you the majority of the, the big mistake. I'll write it down for you. So we can have a little fun. And um, uh, this is this is funny. And people say sometimes some people say, oh, well, if you're not getting the right words at the right time, what you should do. Ready? Funny thing. What you should do. And probably you have heard that advice. What you should do is go to dictionary and read five words a day for 30 days because five words a day for 30 days is 150 words. I know the math, but here is my question. Primary school days are gone. It's no more a time to mug up words anymore. You're not a primary school student. You're an adult. Do you have time to read five words a day in dictionary like this boring theory? Absolutely not. Another, another um, bad advice that many people give you or might have given you in the in the past is oh if you want to grow your vocabulary you must do this what is that this you must go to newspaper and read the words and and read the hard words because the harder words you use you know it will it will make you sound good but when was the last time you used words like extravaganza display people said like how are you feeling i'm feeling extravaganza display with some pepper you don't that's not the natural language anymore. It's not 1985 anymore. You can't impress people with your knowledge anymore. It's about confidence. It's about connection. So how do you do that? There are different ways to do it. Again, we talk about it in the confident man live experience because of the, it's deep thing going right now. But a, a quick tip I'll tell you right now is start listening to other people 
that already have great vocabulary, maybe in their audios, maybe in their videos. See, you made a brilliant choice by enrolling in this program today and coming here because you're getting to learn from me. And I'm not saying it me like, oh, you're getting to learn from me. I'm saying it's, <clears throat> I mean, I have had a great experience in, in speaking and communication. I've been a student of human psychology and for, for many, many years, I know what words make people act. I know what to say to a child to make them act. I know what to say to an adult to make them take an influence, uh, influential action. And you're doing the right thing by being in the right environment because I want you to write this down. You become who you hang out with. Write this down. You <clears throat> become who you hang out with. Amen, right? You, you hang out with five people who are millionaires, you tend to become the sixth one. You hang out with five people who just smoke, drink, and beat the wife, you become the sixth one. Because you, get, you, you choose the habits that they are using. I want to say something proudly to you right now. Okay? I have never smoked a single cigarette in my life. Single. Never had alcohol, never had beer in my life. I'll tell you why. The reason is when I go, when I, in future, when I'm like 65, 70, 80, 85, 90, 100, I, my, one of my goals is to live for 150 years. That's why I'm taking better care of my health now than ever before. And it's ridiculous for most people, right? 150 years, not possible. Fine. Not possible for you, possible for me. When I end my life, I want people to look at me and say, my next generations, my, my children, my grandchildren, my great grandchildren, I want them to say, Bishal Sarkar, he was an example, not a warning. Be an example, not a warning. I know so many people who, are, who give advice like, you know, you should not smoke, uh, but you're smoking right now. Yeah, but you shouldn't smoke. Like I made a mistake, so you don't. <sighs> Tequila and rum, <sighs> right? Because they're saying something and doing something absolutely different. They are warnings. So many managers say, come on time, but they are late. Do you know anybody like that? In your life, says something, does something absolutely opposite. The person that says many. RG says, yes, <laughs> says something, does something. Thank you, Srinivas, for owning up, says I myself. I respect you for acknowledging. It takes a bold man to accept his own mistakes. So thank you. Ajit says, yes, sometimes myself. Yes, we are. Nobody is perfect, right? We all do. And I want to be that example for my kids. <clears throat> I want to do that. I don't want to make mistakes for years and years. I want to do that from the, from the get go. So that's why it's very important for me. So your choice of words are very, very, <clears throat> very important. The next one is your connection. <clears throat> um, connection, how you connect with people. This is the fifth, fifth pillar of making a first impression, the 4F formula. By the way, this is the photo. You can see a lot of people in the audience. We just had an informal, informal talk before we, on day three of the event in September, in the morning, you know, Akash, the, the person who's standing <clears throat> on this, uh, you can see he's standing, his name is Akash in the black jacket. That's me in the, in the blue jacket and the other people are where the participants, we had people from, you know, 10 years to uh, 25 years of experience, not age, 10 to 25 years of experience in the, in the course uh, who came to learn mastering public speaking. And I think you can see Vema there as well um, from the right side, the fifth lady, fifth person uh, that's Vema with the half jacket. So, one of the things I talk about is something called a 4F formula. So if you're writing down, write this down. You want to share your fears. Fears, one. Okay, number two, failures. Firsts and flaws. <clears throat> Sometimes I say frustrations, but these are the four Fs on the screen. Fears. Failures, firsts, and flaws. So what most people do, they think, oh, in order to make a connection, I have to prove my value. And for that, what I'll do is I'll just talk about my experience. Like many people do that. Oh, I have 19 years of experience here. I have this, that, this, that, this, that. They talk all about themselves. Um, third one was firsts, F-I-R-S-T. So I, I'll, I'll explain that in a minute, Azar. Uh, Vasanta says first, yes. Um, so... Many times people come to the stage and they're like, oh, I, wanted, I did this, I did that, I did this, I did that, I did this, I did that. And you're like, okay, what's the point? 
What's the point you have done all that? It sounds like bragging, but rather when you're meeting people, if you can talk a little bit about your fears, you know, one of the things I'm afraid of is I'm afraid of um, my health being bad. See, when you do that, most often the other person has that problem too. So they, they have that. So the first one is fear. The second one is your failures. Anytime you share a failure that connects with people because most often we are trained to share the successes only like, Oh, I have this, I have that. But when you share a failure, it, it makes you connect. The third is firsts F I R S T S. The first time you got married, the first time you got a job, the first time you got hired, the first time you had to give a presentation, the first time you were driving a car, right? The first time you came to a big city, I mean, I came from a small city called Shiliguri, a small town called Shiliguri, which is growing up now. But I remember the first time, funny story. Let me, let me tell you this. First time, um, the night I went to Bangalore, um, uh, my, my life partner back then, um, I mean, my girlfriend back then, not life partner. I thought she was going to be the life partner. but uh, Mistakes happen, man. Uh, <laughs> um, I remember she taking me to a restaurant that day. Um, and look, I come from a place where Shiliguri, if you, if you have never been to a small town, we in a small thelas and all that, we got like roti for like two rupees. So for five rupees, you get three rotis and, and the curry and aloo curry or something came free. So in my mind, okay, I'm going to Bangalore, maybe here three roti plus some curry is five rupees. There it will be how much? 10, 15, 20. So back then I used to stay in a place called HSR layout yeah, there in, in Bangalore. By the way, how many of you from Bangalore just would love to know? We would, if you're in Bangalore, just type yes. If you're from another town, just type your, wherever you're calling from, uh, any other country or city, just type down. Oh, a lot of people from Bangalore, huh? Man, we are all Bangaloreans. Earlier, yes. Where do you stay, Ajay, now? Delhi? Um, if, if any other city, Hyderabad, RG. Okay, perfect. So... I remember she said, you know, let's go to the restaurant. I said, I said, yeah, what will you have? She said, you know, I, I'm, I'm doing like a dieting. Uh, at, by the way, anyways, let's not talk about health. Uh, she said, I, I'm doing dieting. I'll just, I'll just take some lotis. I said, fine. <clears throat> Kalyani. Okay. You mean Kalyani in Kolkata? Um, so she said, I'll have some roti, roti and dal makhni. And um, I said, yeah, sure. Uh, we ate the food. The bill came. And guys, again, it's not a, it was not a huge amount. But think about my mindset at that time. I'm thinking in my mind. I'm counting. When I'm eating, I saw that the roti sizes were a little bigger than my Siliguri roti size. And the tables were a bit, little better than the Siliguri. But, but I thought, okay, maybe not 10, 20. Maybe it will be 35. I'm thinking big. It's going to be 50 rupees. I'm, I have. The bill came and it was 265 rupees. And for the first time, my eyes were like, Why? Because that was the first time for me, right? The, think about the first time you go to, you went to cafe coffee day. No, I did not see the menu card. I have, tr I trained myself not to look at a right side of the menu. That was a mistake at that time, but um, I never look at the right side of the menu. Uh, that's just my habit. I look at the left side and, and I <clears throat> buy whatever I like, and then I figure out how to pay it. Um, when I shared this, some people who come from small towns and come and they say, why well, connect with that? Why? It's my first time, right? The third one first. So first is fears, failures first. And the last one is flaws, flaws, flaws. You want to share some of your flaws. You might think that, Oh, if I share my flaw, they will come to know you don't share everything. Nobody's asking you to talk about your flaw in your thigh or in your back. But like, say, you know, one of my flaws is I get angry sometimes. Like that's one of my things. Sometimes I do. And one of my flaws many times is if I don't get a sleep in the afternoon, I sleep every afternoon. I have the time freedom. I work about 45 minutes a day. Um, my main, main work, my creative thinking, I always do because that's one of my passions. I, but if I just get a work done, I can get work done in 30 minutes a day, like three to four times. That's my major work. Um, yeah, I'm emotional and sensitive, Cecily. Yeah, awesome. When you share that with other people, people think, wow, he's so powerful that he's willing to accept what other people won't accept. Right? That's a flaw. How many of you felt connected the moment I said, you know what, there was a moment and I, I said it true, you know, it's a true story, but 
there was a time in my life I, I, I thought of making a suicide. If you felt, wow, it's, it's, I connect. Type the word yes in the chat box if that made you feel connected with me at that time, that story part. Yes, yes. Because I'm sharing a flaw. Most people won't do that, right? Most people, oh, my life is perfect. But when you share the things that people don't, that's when everything changes for you. So fears, I'm going to rip this one out. So fears, I'm going to write the next one here. Fears, failures, firsts, and flaws. Huh. So these are the five things, uh, five steps to create attractive first impression. The first one is confidence, body language, dressing, your words, and connection. I want to know from the, in the chat box before we move forward and share some, take the questions in, a, in two to three minutes. Um, which part of the, this webinar so far has been most powerful for your situation, for you? Not for everybody, I'm talking about you. Is it the confidence part you learned the most? Is it the body language part, dressing part, words part, connection part? Type down in the comment box which, one, which part did you like the most so far for your situation? Connection. Okay. What specific? And uh, before you type, oh, hold on, hold on. Before you type, type down specifically which part. Not just, don't just say body language, but you know what, Vishal, I love the nodding part in body language because I can apply that. So type um, what you love the most. I'm going to read the comment on my phone right now. Um, uh oh. I, I believe people easily, uh, connection, connection. Okay, connection and your words. Vema says confidence. Absolutely. Ajay says, believe in your power. That's, that's very important, right, Ajay? Sitish, Kitish says, um, body language. What about body language specifically? Shiva Prasad says, to be frank, everything. Loved it. Awesome. I appreciate that. But Shiva Prasad, if you have to pick one thing that you love the most, which one? Um, I don't know your name. It, uh, path 88E, that says you know, all. But tell me specifically. I'd love to know. See, this is the thing. I, I know that you, you're learning a lot, but I'd love to know which one you're going to implement right now the pocket square story that's right Deepak Kitish says uh, I connection stop trying to prove yourself Vema that's isn't that important um, Deepak says the pocket square story okay stop seeking approval Srinivas says confidence start owning your power and speak from power absolutely Vasanda says authority Vasanda what specifically about authority did you learn today that you did not know before Ajit connection my failure story I loved eye connection and confidence also dressing soften technique says Gopal great Vasanta says authority no arguments there you go um, Shiva Prasad says can and stop taking as well as stop seeking approval this dress half step ahead absolutely dress half step ahead that's very very important let me go to the chat section one more time um, here's what I'd love to know from you right now um, before we move forward, let me stop the screen. Um, somebody says, I don't know your name. It says Galaxy J7. I think that's the name of your phone, though. Uh, it, you say, we'll implement confidence and powerful dressing like a pro. Awesome. Giving practical examples. Divya. Yeah. So here's my example. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be very straightforward with you right now, okay? You know, like I always want to be. Before we move forward <coughs> for our next five or ten minutes, maybe. Um, The information that you learned today, um, here is my question. How much money-wise, opportunity-wise, uh, how much has it cost you in the last, let's say, five years not to know what you learned today? How much has it cost you not to, not to um, know this information? Money-wise. So I'll give an example before you type. Let's say that if you learn this information and if I trained you like I do in my courses and if I installed all these behaviors, like if, if it was like a natural part of you, like I trained Alok who closed his home loan. Um, I, I trained this other person, Nirav, he's now getting international assignments as a part of his profession in his job. If you learned all these things five years ago, if we met in 2013 versus 2018, what would be different in your life today? Money-wise, how much more money would you be making? Professional-wise, how much more career growth would you be doing? Health-wise, where would your health be today? Where would your relationship be today? And where would you um, be in your confidence level? I'd love to know where would you see yourself today. I would not have restarted my career again, says Vasanta. Okay, almost double the salary, Srinivas. That's right. See, about one crore over five years. 
bam, that's specific. Great. So it has cost you one crore not to know this information before. Is that right, Vijay? Type down, what has it cost you in the last? And it doesn't always have to be money. You can say it has cost me frustration. It has anything. It has cost me the embarrassment. It has cost me that, that feeling of shame that I felt after a bad presentation many years ago. It has cost me my job. I'd love to know from you. I would love both of us to be totally transparent here. That's why you are here, not to watch a video, to be real with me right now. You feeling me? Let's go. Mostly I'll be like you and a very successful person. Low confidence. It has cost you low confidence. What has that low confidence caused you? Has that caused embarrassment? Has that caused anything else? Uh, he says maybe about five lakhs and the financial insecurity per year till now. Is that five lakhs per year or five lakhs in the five years that you have lost? Embarrassment and low self-esteem, Dev Jyoti. Frustration, fear, insecurity, Gopal says. Great, yeah. I mean, not great, by great, I mean, great that you're sharing so openly. I appreciate that. Embarrassment and insecurity. Here's my question, and this is my final question for today. And you don't have to answer. All that you said, one crore rupees I've lost uh, by, I have lost by not knowing this information, all the loans. Those of you who have loans, uh, you know, Think how much it's costing you inside your mind every single night you go to the bed and you're worrying. Financial instability and insecurity. Thanks. Here's my question. Why are you addicted, addicted to this pain that you're in right now? Why are you addicted to this pain that you have right now? I'll tell you a quick story. There was a man one day. It's not my story. I read it many years back, but I think it's a very appropriate from this, for this moment before we go to the question answer. There was this man who always heard there was like a dog in the neighborhood oh, 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 crying out of pain. So the man goes to the neighbor and says, hey, neighbor, what happened to the dog? And the person says, well, the dog is having some pain because he's He's sitting on a nail, like a nail that you have that you put down on the wall, that small little nail. He's sitting on that nail. So the nail is pinching um, his back and it's creating pain. I said, okay. The next day, same. Bow, bow, bow. And the man goes, by the way, terrible sound of a dog that I'm making, right? I'm not a good actor. And the next day, the go he goes to the neighbor again and says, your dog is crying again. Why? He says, oh, well, it's sitting on the nail. Okay. Next day morning again, oh, oh, oh. and it's, it was, and this person had it. He said, he went to the neighbor. He said, you know what? If the dog is having so much pain, why doesn't he get up from the nail? And the man says, well, that it's creating pain, but not enough for the dog to take some action yet. The dog was addicted to that pain. And many of us, are addicted to the frustration, to the sleepless nights and the suffering because we think I don't deserve happiness. I'm not good enough. And it's all subconscious. You're not consciously thinking, but it's all subconscious. And that addiction is a bad addiction because it makes you more addicted to a pain. Don't you know anybody negative who is always thinking negative in your family or in your relatives? They are all, if you tell something good, they'll not even accept it. You tell them something, Srinivas says, love you for waking me up today. Yeah, wake up, wake up, wake up in life. Wake up in life. Many people are addicted to this pain. He, he, here is why, because they think they don't deserve more. How can I have this? My parents did not have this. If I just said my parent, my father always, the maximum he made, was I, 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 he took the best care of me, but maximum he made was 30,000 rupees a month. If I thought, well, my father made 30,000, how can I make in crores a month? If I just ever thought like that, I'd be not very happy today, right? If I thought, well, other people in my school, I came from Bengali medium school, nobody became an international public speaker there. How can I be? If I just compared myself all the time, I'd not be happy today in my life. I'd not have the smile that I have not just here, but in my eyes that you can feel. I would not have the fulfillment. And how did you improve your communication? 
It's a long story. But I, the, the short story is I, I had a mentor who helped me. I, I started investing with many mentors who are, many of them are not alive. One of them is just, uh, Jason Leister from incomparableexpert.com. He charges $10,000 a month, which is around 8 lakhs rupees a month to mentor me today. I, I, in fact, today at 11 p.m. I have a call with him. I have mentors in my life, multiple. Jeremy Wilson from Sedona, Arizona, another amazing person. He helps me with my, my leadership and influential skills. Um, Jesse Elder, another great person who has ta- taught me how to build a community like we have together. Uh, amazing, great person. Oliver Thalamayan from, from um, where is, uh, Dallas, Texas. Many people. Mark Hunter was my initial few, one of my mentors. Great speaker. Um, from Australia. Why did I invest so much? Because I did not want the f- addiction to pain and fear. And I didn't want the house loans for a long time. And that's why I did that. So before we go to the question answer, here's the last example I'd like to give you. This person's name is Hema. Um, she actually has not come to my course yet, meaning she has enrolled and I've taught her some techniques in our group coaching calls as a part of my course. We are meeting on March 9th. 10 and 11. But before coming here, here is the thing. She has been denied for fraud or promotion for the last three or four years. She's a CA, works for Accenture. You can look her up, Hima Bansal. Um, uh, she recently just, you can say January 29th, she sent me an email saying, hi, Vishal, wanted to share my happiness and a good news with you. I received a job offer today for the same interview that I referred to below. It is a VP position and I've been offered, listen to this, a 40% salary hike without even asking for it. While the job requires me to relocate out of Bangalore, it's a small price I have to pay for something bigger and better in life and I'm ready to take the risk. Goes without saying that having a mentor in you, Bishal, is already beginning to transform my life. My heartfelt gratitude to you and your team. Rahul, Anupama, these are my team members who made this possible. By the way, Anupama is on the call today. He's the, she's the person who in, you know, introduced you. Um, the journey has just started. These are baby steps, I feel. A big, big thank you regards, Hema. Now, here's my question to you. Um, if you got a 40% salary hike by just improving your confidence, and here's the best part. I've not even met her face-to-face. She enrolled in the program. I spoke to her once on the phone after she applied. Then we had something called a confidence action plan call in a group setting. I taught her some techniques that, Hema, next time you go to the office, do this. You know, speak this way. Do this little trick. This 40% salary hike in a matter of six weeks. And she was... She was being uh, away from this interview, from, from this uh, new job position for the last three, three and a half years. She never got that promotion. Why? Because she had a problem. And she told me, Bishal, I lost my father many years ago. And since I lost my father, my mother is my responsibility. And Bishal, not just money-wise, I want to make my mom proud of me. I, she has, Hema has 17 years of experience approximately. She said, I want to make my mom proud. But for the last four years, I've been failing and failing. I don't want that. And today, Hema is doing awesome. So execution is the key. You can learn a lot, but execution. And that's why what I do is something that I call the confident man uh, live experience. I also have another version called where women come to. It's called the confident expert live experience, where we drill down with all these things. And what, we, what you learn today is just 1% of the entire communication game. I know it's a lot of information, but just one small portion of first impression, there is this entire how to structure a presentation, how to speak when people ask you tough questions, how to really, in a natural way, communicate your value, how to stand out from the crowd, how to really master your mindset, how to have a great mission in life. And once you do all that, it really changes everything for you. And that's when you, if you see the smiles on the faces of the people who come to here to the program, everybody is happy, not just smiling for the camera. This is how they act in the real life because they overcome their stage fear. They overcome their nervousness. They overcome the problem that are holding them back, holding them back and, and costing them one crore for five lakhs or three lakhs or the home loan or the worry and the stress and the pain in the mind. And my question to you that you don't have to answer is when you're going to stop all this so you can make a great improvement. So I have, um, I have about five, seven minutes. Uh, put down your question. Let me answer and get back because I'm hungry. And uh, put down your number one question. Uh, why don't we do this? If you have a question, type the word question. I'll, I'll bring you on the video right now. Type the word question. I'll, I'll bring two people only. Shiva Prasad says, do you think transformation is easy? Uh, do you think getting, giving, child, giving birth to a child is easy? No, it takes fucking, it takes sex. Let's be honest, we are all little, it takes sex. 
It takes nine months of pain of the lady and great nutrition. Then it takes a lot of money to get the baby out. Is it easy? Ah. Srinivas does this all. Uh, Srinivas says, okay, let me answer some question. Then I'll bring some uh, people to the video. Maybe how did you influence people? I just started being myself more. I started forgetting I have to influence and I started just uh, transforming myself. First of all, I started understanding that I have to value my own value. Then I started communicating my own value and people started respecting what I have. And that's when everything started changing. That's when I went from coming from middle class family to living a world class life. Um, question, does this, does all this can be implied, implied for interviews? Yes, absolutely. It can be um, applicable for interview, but there's a little difference. We don't have time to customize this content right now, but yes, absolutely. Uh, how we will kickstart practically within seven seconds and write what's the right connection. Kritish, great question. Let me give a quick tip. Um, there is a little problem that many people face, which is when they come to the, and I'll, I'll bring, um, in case you want to come to the video, type the word video, I'll just bring you on because there are too many questions I can't see right now. Um, and I'll, I'll bring one or two people on the video in case we have time. Um, Kitesh, okay. Kitesh, come to the video then. Uh, unmute yourself. Hi, Vishal. Hello. Kitesh here. Good to see you. Great to see you. Sir. Yes, I'm. I'm, I'm mm -hmm. Are you listening to me? I am. Yes, sir. Whatever information you have given to me, all the things, whatever we are getting from you, they are quite excellent. But still, how practically we will be able to start that thing? I am still waiting for. Right. So that's a great question. Um, what we do is, honestly, I'm, I, I don't want anybody to enroll into my program here because I think we are full right now. But that's why I invite some people to my program so I can practically mentor them. Like there is a difference between um, there is a difference between you know watching a cooking video and your mom teaching you cooking like practically sitting next to you right that's like a whole different game altogether. There's a difference between watching a cricket video and actually playing cricket. So what I want you to do, Srinivas, because of the scope of the work in this video is just to give you the information and answering questions. Uh, go out there. I know you speak a lot to the audience, your students. Um, take some of the information and take like a small little card like this tonight and write down five best learnings that I'm start, I'll start to implement from tomorrow. Like one, two, three, four, five. And then go out and start you know, speaking and using those information to the students until that becomes a second nature for you. Um, that's my answer for you. Srinivas, unmute yourself and ask your question. Yeah, uh, point number seven, connections. Can you hear me? I can, yes. Yeah. We're talking about fears, failure, first and flaws. I'll give you a presentation video to talk about that or like uh, oh, we should avoid talking about it. There's a confusion here. Talk about it, <clears throat> not avoid, okay. but, but very subtly. So you don't go into a whole story. So I'll give a quick example. How many of you are sometimes get, um, you know, how many of you sometimes don't like Bangalore traffic a lot? Just raise your hand for a second. Yeah, good. See, that was a connection point. Now, whatever I say, you're going to listen to me because I made you connect with me and agree with me on a particular point. That was like a real example. So like that, you can say, you know, sometimes I have a flaw. I'm not perfect. In fact, let me ask you a question. How many of you are not perfect? A lot of people raise hands and then you go into your whatever you're going to say. But because now they raised your hand psychologically, they connected with you. That's my answer. Divya says, tell me about your program. Divya, respectfully, I'm not going to do that. That's not, why, that's not why, why I'm here right now. If you want to know more, reach out to me via email. We can talk about it because I don't talk about my program very practically publicly is because I don't think it's for everybody. Uh, that doesn't mean it's for no or nobody. It just means it's not for everybody. So uh, it's, it's on very practical basis. It's, uh, we, we select the right people. Only the people that I'm confident that will get results are the people that that we apply uh, that that apply for our program and we allow into our conversation so we have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with each person before allowing them into our courses uh, if you'd like to know more i can just put a link do you think i should put a link about how to take a next step to know what is the next step and how many of you would like to get the next level information here just type the word yes i'll just reply to you here in that case if not that's fine too i'm not here to talk about my program at all <clears throat> okay so um my program, I just tell you quickly. First of all, this is not for everybody. I'll send you the page, but don't open it right now because it will start playing some videos and, and stuff. Uh, but I, I do, I will do this. Um, 
No. Somebody's not muted again. Can you just mute yourself, whoever that person is? I think it is, is that John or is that Sitish? Okay, Kitish, just mute. I just muted you, cool. Uh, and I can see some people are raising hands. Anybody else had a question? Uh, I'm fine with that. If not, I'll just go on. So here's the thing. The, the, the program that I have are not for everybody. Um, I'm happy to put you a link, but it requires an investment to apply for the program. And some people call me very, very arrogant about it because how can we charge people to do this? Pretty simple. Um, I have a family to run. I have a small little brother. He has intellectual disability. I don't have any fucking time to you know, talk to people who are not serious about their own transformation to waste my time. I don't have time to convince people. And how, what is the best way to find out if somebody's serious? Ask for money. That's how. Is it rude? Is it harsh? Maybe. Is it truth? Yes. So I ask people to make an investment before even applying for the program so I know they're serious. If say, oh, no, 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 I can't do that. That's fine. I respect you. I honor you. But my program is not for you in that case. So... Uh, it's pretty simple. I have a family to run. I have my, my brother to take care of. He's my why. Uh, I showed you his picture, me and him many years ago. And I want to take best care of him. I want to give my best to my family. In fact, let me ask you a question. How many of you care for your family? Type the word family in the chat box. You, you, like your family is your number one priority, not just something you talk about. Yeah, mine too. He's the reason, my, 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 my family is the reason why I do what I do. And that's why it's important for me. So I'm going to put the link and, and move on. It's vishalsarkar.net forward slash mentor. You can see the link. It's in the chat box right now. You can see the link after the call. But I really had a great conversation with all of you. I really enjoyed the conversation with all of you. If you send me uh, an email after the call tonight, vishal at vishalsarkar.com with the notes that you have taken, a photo of it or a screenshot of it, a notes you have taken, for rewarding your action taking behavior, I'm happy to send this entire replay, which we will sell for 20,000 rupees starting tomorrow on our website, this entire replay, because a lot of information that you got, you know, if you review it over and over again, it becomes a part of you. Uh, just like a song, you listen to a song for the first time, but when you listen to it second time and fourth time, it becomes a part of you. I'm happy to send you a replay. If you send me your notes, the link is right here, vishalsakkar.net forward slash mentor. That's how we end the day because there is no more questions and I'm happy that I spoke to you and I am, I'm, I'm waiting for that day when I meet you personally in one of your events or at an airport. Make sure you come and say hi because we're going to have a great time and maybe some coffee together. My name is Vishal Sarkar, always reminding you that confidence is not about perfection. It's all about connection. Boom!